Hello there, I am Dranko with more Pokemon Diamond Redo. In the last part we took on Route 212, and we didn't do the second half of Route 212, I guess. Of this muddy route, which I'll show over here actually, is where it's at. Because I don't, I just don't want to deal with the mud. Because like, this is still Route 212, but like, you get stuck in the mud and you have to pivot out. And you get, you get stuck in the mud again, like, a, three steps later. And that's why I'm not covering that muddy part of the route, so. And it's a totally optional route altogether, so. That's okay though. I'll just, I just, I decided to skip out on that because I don't want to deal with the mud. It's all, I don't want to get stuck in the mud, I'm not a fan of that. Here's, um, the move tutor. If you have a heart scale, uh, I mentioned this before, but if you have a heart scale, he'll say like, Oh, that's it, that's an honest to goodness heart scale. Let me guess, you want to teach me, you want me to teach you, teach one of your Pokemon a move. What Pokemon needs tutoring? So, um, you can find heart scales in the underground, and eventually when, like, at the end of the game, when I'm looking at, working with my final move sets, I'll probably go underground and, like, um, you know, dig up some heart scales, so. Because this is a really helpful thing. So, like, for example, if I go to Bronze, I'll show off all my Pokemon and what their potential moves could be. and see the moves they forgot or they could learn as through a move tutor. So, that's really cool. Um, nothing really good here. Tackle, Hypnosis, Imprison, Iron Defense. Well, Iron Defense, I guess, is cool, but I'm not really good with... I don't really choose to have, um, that many stat-boosting moves on, um, my Pokemon, really. Uh, and Safeguard. So, there's, um, Bronze Ward. I know, yeah. Come back with Heart Scale. Yeah, I see. he says that, basically. Who needs tutoring? Okay, if I go to Monferno, my Inferno. <laughs> okay, scratch, lay your taunts, fear, surface, front, and torment. Not really good, you know, selection either. And if I go to, um, I think Rose is the next on my party. So, yeah. I think she can learn Magic Leaf and stuff. Yeah, this, this is some really good moves right here. She can learn Magical Leaf, which she never messes in as a grass type move. She can learn Giga Drain, she can learn Toxic Spikes. Jeez. Wait, she doesn't. If she doesn't. Oh, well, Giga Drain can be as a TM too. Which I can show you where to get Giga Drain, the TM, actually, in this part. Because I remember where it's at. So, yeah, that's. It's always something to continue with. Because some of these moves can be really good. Like, I remember my Pokemon Diamond uh, walkthrough guide. Um, the original one. Um, I turned, I went to the move tutor and taught my Rapidash, my Flame Ball, Megahorn, which is a really good bug type move. So, that's a cool Jetta. Okay, what can Jetta learn? Ice Fang. Oh, he can learn Ice Fang. Wow. That's cool. So, and also it's just contests. Like, if it's cool or cute in contests, that's pretty cool. So, Ice Fang, Sonic Boom, Growl, Water Sport, uh, Quick Attack, Water Gun, Edge Pursuit, and Agility. Ice Fang, though, that's a good move. Yeah. I'll have to think about that, actually, because Ice Fang's pretty good, you know? You don't know if you want to pass it up or not. I don't want to pass someone up if I'm really considering it. And then Karen, of course. What can he, what can she learn? Peck Astonish, Pursuit Haze, Nightshade Assurance Taunt. Yeah, I, out of the, all those five um, move sets or five selections of moves, I think Rose had the best um, to choose from. And then obviously, I think, uh, you know, Jetta had the second best move set. Okay, if you use um, Surf over here, which I think I have to put another Pell on, because my Pell off in the last episode apart. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. Okay, um, if you go over here, there's gonna be this item over here. For, it's called the Sea Incense, and it'll raise up the power of water type moves. And I'm gonna be giving that to Jetta, cause, oh, it's, sorry, it's a Mystic Water. I got that mixed up. <laughs> you can get the Sea Incense by surfing, um, by having to surf somewhere too, but now that I think about it, I think I remember where that was at. Maybe, maybe not. So yeah, I'm gonna give the Mystic Water to uh, Jetta, cause it, Jetta really doesn't need the Quick Claw, cause it's a really fast Pokemon anyway. So, I'll give the quick call to like Karen or something, or... Well, Karen's the only one who doesn't actually have an item, held an item, so... Yeah. Let's give, uh, this Mystic Water. It's all the way down here in my bag, though. There we go. Yeah. And then I'll give, uh, Jetta the... Or, uh, I'll give this Karen the quick claw. Yeah. Okay. Just so everyone has a held item, except for, you know, B-Barrel doesn't have an item. Beck doesn't have one. So I'm gonna cut to, um, another spot where we can use Surf, so it'll be like a lot of cutting away and stuff, and 
all that jazz. So I'll see you guys in the next spot where you can surf and I'll show that I'm showing off at least, you know? So see you guys in a second. Okay, right here on Route 214, if you uh, come up here and surf, you can actually get a rare candy, so it's way worth picking up. But it's all the way in the corner, I know, but that's okay. It's all the way dead in the corner. So there's a rare candy for you. Nice. I'm gonna cut away to the next spot where you can surf, that I remember where there's an item, so yeah. Okay, right over here. I figure which route this is, so I'm gonna actually check on my town map real quick. So this is Route... 209. It's um east of Hartholm, but south of um dang it, what was that town? It was south of that it was south of Swayson Town? Yeah, it was Swayson Town. So it's south of Swayson Town and east of um Hartholm. So if you could just find like the first time I played this game I didn't know that you could actually surf in this specific spot. So like I always didn't get this TM. But I wish I would have. But I'm gonna get it now for the walkthrough guide. Oh no. I didn't I I forgot my pill off apparently, so I'm gonna have to use another pill. Oh joy. There we go. But yeah, here's the TM for a Giga Drain. So yeah, it's very worth picking up. Now I don't have to use as heart skill to um get um you know rose to learn it, so let's see here. Um Giga Drain, TM ten I think it was. No, that was ten in power. A TM TM19 Giga Drain, okay. So yeah, let's give let's give that to Rose. Yeah, switch move should be fair then. Okay, for Rose's final move set, as I'm thinking about this, it'll be Giga Drain. So that's one move. The second move that's gonna be final for her move set will be Petal Dance, which is a long, kind of a long ways away. It's all ended up by leveling up, I guess. And don't evolve your Roselia too soon before a certain level. I'll flash out text over way right now, like what level Roselia wins, Giga, Roselia wins Petal Dance, because I don't think once you evolve into Rose Raid with a with a shiny stone. Which is again in uh, past the sixth gym badge before the seventh gym badge, um, Iron Island basically. <laughs> yeah, um, it can't. It probably can't learn it after you evolve into Rose Raid with a Shiny Stone. So yeah. So as I'm thinking, the final move sets will final four moves will be Giga Drain, Petal Dance, Poison Jab, and Giga Drain, Petal Dance, Poison Jab, and what's its fourth move? That's gonna be hard. I guess it's fourth move could be Shadow Ball. Yeah, hold on. Um, I'm trying to think. Yeah, I'm gonna cut this out because I'm thinking right now. Yeah, um, I'm back now, and um, I finally decided. Uh, Rose's final move set will be Giga Drain, Petal Dance, Poison Jab, and Return. I was thinking about Shadow Ball, but then I think Return will do better because, like, you know, Rose actually likes uh, me as a trainer because I evolved it from Badoo into Roselia by friendship. So hopefully, uh, Return will actually be a really powerful move because, you know, it depends, it determines, it goes, um, the full power attack that grows is the more powerful the more the user likes its trainer, and that's really good because I think Rose definitely likes me, so that's good. So let's get rid of, um, yeah, let's get rid of. Uh, grass knot, you know, I'm gonna have to get rid of soon. Uh, cause I'm teaching poison job next, but um... I think I'm gonna give a stun spore for Giga Drain. And then I'm gonna teach it, um, teach Rose, um... Poison jab. Okay. Nice. Yeah, which we should be forgotten, we'll see. I think I'm gonna get rid of Grass Knot. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get rid of Grass Knot. It really served me good here, but I think I'm just gonna move on and, you know, not use, not have Grass Knot, I guess. So, yeah. Poison jab. Yeah. That looks pretty good. So basically the only move that's what we're still waiting for is Petal Dance. And that'll get rid of Mega Drain, so that's cool. Okay, I'm glad we got that figured out. Okay. Yeah, 
And I'm gonna cut to the next place where I think we can surf and stuff. Okay, so here we are in the Orenburg Gate. If we go downstairs right here, we'll get to the basement floor of the Orenburg Gate. Um, if you surf right here, I think you can get an item. But I'm not sure. Hmm. No, I don't think there's an item in the... Uh, near here, but like, you can surf actually, which is pretty cool. And that way with the bicycle, we can go over those ramps too. But if you keep on surfing... Yeah, you go over here, and he has an actual battle, but I can't get those items until I get the TM, until I can use um the move HMO4 Strength outside of battle, but that's not until we get the 6 gym badge, which will coming up soon actually. So, we're gonna have to wait on that, but like, I thought we could have like a cool trainer battle, and have a battle in this episode shown, you know, that's pretty cool. I'm a veteran, yeah, but you, don't you dare trust me with like a senior citizen, okay. Okay, since we're a pro off right there and I can't really go any further, I can just use an escape rope to get out of here. So let's just do that. Where's my escape ropes? There, it's at the very top of the ba my bag. Yeah, okay. And I'm gonna cut to the last part, um, where, um,. Yeah, I'm gonna cut the last part where I want to show off to where to get some items and stuff by surfing. So I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so um, yeah, I'll just surf here. It's um east of former my town. I'm gonna check if my power off or not. Okay, it did. Cool, I checked. Good. Put another one on. Cause behind the valley windworks is actually an item or TM. It's a TM for a thunderbolt. That's a really good watch that move. And I don't know if any of my Pokemon can learn it though. Maybe um when Bronze War evolves into bro when Bronze evolves into a Bronzong, maybe. But I don't know. We'll have to see. Let me see if anyone can learn it though, just to check. Of course, Becky. Of course, Beck can learn it. Jeez. Okay. Dang it, is there an item over here? Nope, there isn't, I don't think. Oh, I can use the dowsing machine, but I don't really feel up to it right now. Also, I want to check something real quick. Okay, um, what I decided to do is come back to the move tutor and I actually teach uh, Fultz or Jetta Ice Fang. So, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Because I don't get, we don't get Ice Beam until like after the 7th gym badge in this game, so. Yeah, 95 or 65 power and 95% accuracy. It's still pretty good. Yeah, I want you to remember Ice Fang. Ha ha ha. Okay, let's get rid of Swift though. Yeah, let's get rid of Swift. We don't need Swift anymore. Yeah. One, two, and poof. Jedi forgot Swift and Jedi remember the move Ice Fang. Okay, cool. So yeah, there's. And I can always go back to the. Um, the uh, underground and get more uh, heart scales by digging in the walls and spinning them, so that's good. So yeah, let's go back to former Roma town, and it's right over here. Yeah, there we go. And yeah, we healed up there, I guess. I was very quiet about it though. And yeah, there's one more spot I want to show off surfing. Actually, two more spots. But, you know.
Let's see here, why did I try to save there? I don't know why I tried to do that. Let's put a super, uh, it still lingers, okay, cool. Of course, my pull off right there. Okay. Go up here and around here. The surfing pace is so slow in this game. That's just where this is just where we're at with that one route. So if you were wondering, it's not a new place. It's actually a place we've already been to. So let's hop back on Forzel, a Jetta, and we can um continue on. And. So I think over to the far left, it. nope, there's just rocks, okay. So right down here is actually the back entrance to the former meadow. So we can get some items and stuff. So there's hidden items everywhere, basically. Apparently not in here, though. Right here, dang it. There's a miracle seed, which also raises the power of grass-type moves. So but I have the rose incense already, so it's okay. Here's a full heal. Um, here's a max potion, very worth picking up. Here's a visible item, actually. And it's a leaf stone, so yeah, that's pretty cool. And here's a honey, okay. And here's another item. It's a hyper potion. Okay, that's cool. I think that's it for the hidden items, though. And items. What's this, this one right here? Yeah. Okay. Now there's another honey right there. I spoke too soon. I think I already grabbed these two items. Well, let me just double check. These two invisible items, if there were any right there. Yeah. Okay. And right here we have made it to the um for women go in ironworks. Have we though? Ah Okay, so does it say on the map by any chance that this is the Fuimingo Ironworks comes? I'm pretty sure that's the name of it, Fuingo Ironworks. If I can find the key items pocket, there we go, town map. Yeah, with the Fuigo Ironworks. Fuigo. I'm thinking I'm pronouncing that right. If we go Ironworks, yeah. But yeah, we're gonna cover this in the next part. So yeah, this has been my Pokemon Diamond Redo Walk the Guy part. In the next part, I'll do just that. So this has been Dranko again. I would like to thank for watching the game. Goodbye, and hope to see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Diamond Redo Walk the Guide.